This video is brought to you by Sayerite. Visit Sayerite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. We are going to take this out though, just to show you how to remove a grommet. And we'll take the grommet out and replace the grommet, even though there's nothing wrong with it. In this case, just so you can see how that's done. The spur grommet in this sail does not need to be removed, but if it were damaged, this video will show you how to replace it. If the sail is old enough, and I've seen 30, 40 years old <laughs> sails with, with very little metal left and a lot of corrosion on the grommets. If you wanted to know what grommet you have, they're often stamped with a number. And I can see the number here uh, of a two grommet. So I know this sail had a, a two grommet on it, so there's no question. You know what it is. You don't even have to do anything else other than that. And uh, you know what grommets you need. If not, uh, certainly measure, check the OD, check the ID of the grommet and then you can check the right site for the grommets just pull up the different ones we left um, all the measurements there for you to take a look at but I'm going to show you how to remove this so you're not making the hole bigger you don't have to change the size of grommets which would require a different shackle etc cetera, etc cetera. so we're going to do this uh, the, the simple way um, with the Dremel tool um, the grommet in this sail is a spur grommet. Usually it's nickel-plated brass or brass, a gold color. Stainless steel grommets are typically not used often in sails and canvas jobs. We're going to use a Dremel tool with a tungsten carbide cutter. Okay, one thing is to, uh, like here, we're moving this off the table because this will put metal shavings all over the place. Make sure you wear goggles uh, or glasses, uh, safety glasses preferably. What we're going to do is cut around the inside rim, and once that's, once that's free, the grommet can just pop off. We can see that, this little white line. So the little white that you see between the brass, because these are nickel-plated brass grommets, so once I grind through the nickel, you got the brass, so you see the yellow, yellow, white, yellow. The white is the actual sailcloth. So as I go around, I don't want to get here anymore. I want to go to the next spot, next spot. And that's what I'm looking for. Once I achieve that 90 to 100%, right in there, the grommet will just pop off and then we'll just continue on. You can see it start to rotate because I'm almost done. There it goes. Don't grab that with your hands because it's hot. <laughs> So I can be careful with this. This might just pop off here. I have a pair of pliers in case I have to pull it off, but yeah, there it goes. Well done. No bigger hole. You can use the exact same grommet and you're all set to go. There's the, the ring of the grommet. I, I, I saw it come off. I didn't even know where it went. I looked on the floor, didn't see it, but there's where it ended up. But uh, you can see, obviously, if you get that far, you know you cut all the way through. Um, and you're set to go. Now with grommets, um, you do not want to really set these on a table, um, especially if you're in the middle of the table, but if you do have to, you want to make sure you're on a supported leg. I'm sure we covered this in our grommet video. Trying to set a grommet on a fiberglass deck on a boat is a very bad idea. You need a solid surface, preferably a cement floor. You also need to use a sturdy mallet like this Barry King mallet that is available but at Sailrite. You want to make sure it's centered and it locks in place. Well, one of the things to look at, I don't know if you can see this, this grommet isn't completely set. You can see the teeth. So I know it's not set. Um, I just want to show this to you. So when you set a grommet, 
yeah, you can say, oh, it's closed, it's not going anywhere, but it really is not set correctly because you want to drive these teeth down and into the rolled rim on the other side. So we want to set this. And if you get a situation where it's set completely on one side but not on the other, you can angle this a little bit towards that side. You just better to hit it five times lightly than to go crazy and hit it too hard because you can overset a grommet because if you keep going eventually you'll get to the point where you just hammered the outside metal so it just cuts a hole right around the outside. But you can see now it's set smoothly against the surface. Now that the grommet's installed we'll reinstall the shackle on the slide. So we got our insert to match our shackle. Oops. And we're going to go and press this in. And the most important thing is to line up this hole to start with. Um, certainly you want to get them both lined up, but you'll never get the screw to the other side until you get this one through, because this is the threaded side of the uh, shackle. So then I like to make sure everything matches, so we're going to match the same sides the same side. So looks nice we'll get that through side now we're gonna have to go over here and sometimes we we just if we can maneuver that maneuver the plastic over the screw before you even try and get it in and then once that's done just line up the screw tighten it down and again you tighten it until it's snug by hand then you want to tighten it down here to get some pressure on it and there we go which that spring pressure just keeps that screw tight so any luffing of the sail does not shake it free. Now you know how to replace a spur grommet and also install a shackle on the slide. Be sure to watch our videos showing how to inspect your sails for next sailing season, where Jeff Frank, Sailrite sail designer, explains how to check and repair a set of sails for the Islander 37 sailboat. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sarat website or subscribe to the Sarat YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sarat that makes these free videos available. I'm Eric Grant, and from all of us here at Sarat, thanks for watching.